on Saturdays such as this, you'll usually meet people in entertainment joints or watching football. But actually, there's more than football. Have you ever asked yourself, why are they so passionate about the game? Now, there's an emerging trend in town. Sports Pesa Betway Betin is the talk of the town and in this particular episode we are going to tell you about the details of betting and how actually you can blow the jackpot. WTV Sports Center starts right now. Always a pleasure being your host. My name is Elijah Mwangi. With the hard economic times in Kenya, financial independence seems like a mirage to many low-income earners. And so when Sport Pesa was launched in early 2014, a new way to make money in Kenya had just a reason. It's an international platform, so we combine both local and international matches. So as long as we can get odds for those teams, can be sure we'll have them on board. It's based on transferring money through M-Pesa. We had to make it as simple as possible. Also, we had to ensure there is support, customer service, uh, and all that. So all it took was an idea that had to come at the right time, in terms of timing and investment and everything. Sports betting systems are a set of events that, when combined for a particular game, represents a profitable betting scenario. Under the sports betting platforms that have emerged in Kenya, football fans can place monetary bets on their favorite teams and stand to win instant cash if their prediction comes true or lose money if it doesn't. A number of people have been able to get more than 10 times the amount they placed a bet on. However, as the casino rule number one states, the house always wins. This is evident from the investments betting companies are making and it's in no doubt that betting industry is growing by the day. Uh, the investment was quite heavy initially because it, it, was, uh, it was a lot, it was over 300 million shillings because network equipment is quite expensive. Uh, I, I, act, I honestly didn't know that myself until I got into the business but you realize in terms of servers, uh, network equipment because even now we are working with Cisco to provide some more equipment because the more customers we get the more we have to expand our infrastructure and it's quite a heavy investment even for us now we are still reinvesting in the business because as it grows you need to reinvest more and it's quite costly so even the initial setup and in terms of advertising if you notice we are in the paper almost all the uh, newspapers every single day uh, our marketing is also quite expensive so it's a very heavy investment Betting has been practiced in Kenya for a very long time, even before the inception of Sport Pesa. In recent years, betting on international games has always been available for the market through companies like Gaming International, among others. So, why is Sport Pesa so popular nowadays? Because some of the other companies that are coming in are not based in the country. Uh, you can find out for yourself, but most of those companies are based in the country. What they do, they just use uh, these pay bill numbers, which are provided by other people. So there's no, we don't even know whether they, they pay taxes in the country. We don't know. But for Sport Pesa is a truly Kenyan brand, a Kenyan registered company. All our taxes, KRA are happy because we're paying them all the taxes that are needed. For us, we're the only ones who are linked to all the money transfers. We're with Airtel Money, we're also with Orange, and we're with you when they existed. And for us, what's unique is that we have direct links to the providers. As opposed to going to a third party to get the service of the pay bill, our systems are directly connected to, to Safaricom, to Airtel. That makes our service as fast as it is. We're able to pay people immediately. The last whistle is blown. That's why she got her message immediately after that she has won 22 million. Yes. The wave of gambling in Kenya is taking the youth by storm. While others are burning the midnight oil trying to crack the jackpot, others are specializing in single and multi bets. Asana Mueka, multi bet, juice, personalist day bet, jackpot, juice, Nakonga, odds, odds cuts, and teams in Yonekanga jackpot, games in Yonaka, and he's gonna odds almost same, or 2.5, 2.5, so ni trick, Kushinda. 
somewhere kama ultimate you got a higher chances of winning na plus ni domo but pia na depend ni day yenye na bet ka for example ni weekday most likely ni take a single bet jo kuna team mobs na zinacheza weekday but can you can take a multi bet okay me personally i've interacted a lot with people who bet i i tried betting ile serious kidogo kan ilemea but uh, from time to time i place a bet of you but uh, some of the interactions i've had with uh, my fellow f- students my friends are the ones that have taught me a lot about betting sana sana mu bet ya epl ju at least niko sure na plus at least niko na background knowledge concerning history of teams vile well perform last time as in vile anaweza perform na pia kuna konga na shows mob za epl hapa Kenya of which unaweza get experience ku bet one of my cousins got around 150k although had to call you on your pesa <laughs> some of the most affected by these bets are the university students who are even gambling with school fees and the money allocated to them by higher education loans board commonly known as help to them it means business to predict which team will win a match which side will have scored more than two goals by half time how many corners will have been conceded by a team in the first 30 minutes whether a team will win at home or away among other outcomes парень подключает аспилекуэту хороший прострел рубен there's a friend of mine um, i know he bet his school fees and uh, he actually won the bet and got like 50000 more shillings than he had and uh, with this encouragement the next semester he was given another school uh, another uh, batch of school fees by his parents to pay and he bet that also but the second time it didn't work come geuzia then he looked for money from a loan shark to pay, to bet again and win it and he, he he just ended up in debt he ended up selling everything and doing a lot of work just to get that school fees back so me yo yo ndio iko ni furaisha lazima kwa na extremes in betting wezi shinda tukila wakati eh kuna best zangu ameshinda domob ka the highest mean mesikia best zangu ameshinda ni 10k na ka na plus up my best zangu a placing bet extraordinary ka for example na ka 10000 at take one kanga at most 1000 you see what in my students concerning betting ni personal decision wezi wezi advise mse ati anza ku bet na maybe ana hiyo experience ya ku bet ama ana hiyo aje ku bet so ni personal decision tu ka anata ku bet unaweza mu advise let him cut for example mna share bet slip ka mtashinda mtashinda pamoja but wezi wezi force mse a bet Spot Pesa is a company has so far spent around 70 million Kenya shillings paying the jackpot winners. The win of 8.9 million Kenya shillings jackpot by a standard 7 dropout Paul Wenaina a month ago quitted the appetite of gamblers who are already having a go at the 5 million jackpot Spot Pesa announced thereafter. Then came 50-year-old George Mwangi who was the winner of Sport Pesa jackpot of 29.5 million Kenya shillings. It's not just uh, picking up your phone and just putting things there. No, it's not that. Take time. If you see my books when I'm analyzing this, you know I analyze again for three hours. <laughs> so it's not guesswork, people. Sport Pesa became the sponsors of Kenya Premier League following the end of the previous sponsorship by Tusker who in 2013 signed a 3 year deal worth 270 million. The value of the 4 and a half year contract by Sport Pesa is calculated to be worth 450 million Kenya shillings. Going by the figures it's in no doubt that Sport Pesa is not just in business but in big business. We want to concentrate in that In the next few years other than Sport Pesa being the brand that is is known with winners associated with winners of jackpot and amounts of money we want also to be the face of change in sport in Kenya so we'll be work very closely especially with football to ensure that I've always said that we want to ensure that Kenya goes to the World Cup in 2022 and it's not something that we are joking about but we want to bring the talent up from the grassroots ensure that at the league level also we have talent and talent people can see because we are in, we are in negotiations with Arsenal i don't want to speak so much about it but by the end of the month we will know whether there's we have a deal with them or not whereby they can help us in a lot of things stadium development training a lot of things 
Finance Act number no. 38 of 2013 effective from 1st January 2014 withholds tax of 20% payable to the Kenya Revenue Authority on all winnings from betting and gaming. Now let's face it, January is one of the most challenging months when it comes to matters of finances. In fact, some people have dubbed it as Njanuari. And uh, bearing that in mind, there is a great need uh, to understand how betting works because perhaps you could be the next winner. Maybe, but just maybe. So at this particular point, let's see how betting works. Back in 2006, a group of sports fanatics got together and created a new way for punters to place bets how they like, when they want and wherever they are. Betway, the principal sponsor of West Ham United Football Club, was born. It's one of the online gambling companies penetrating the Kenyan market. Interesting to note, sports betting is not only a practice for city dwellers. We caught up with Betway in Nyeri Town. And this is how things work for gamblers. First, you have to register with us uh, to create an account. Uh, after account, you have your password. Then after that, you can log in. Once you, once you log in, uh, the first okay, uh, the, the first thing you turn on is bets, like recent bets as a Leo, kama siloni sato, tuna zote za sato. Then uh, from there, you have to place money to your account, which is uh, minimum is 50 shillings from Mpesa to Betway account. I love to also to consumers to Nambia. If you want to, okay, the minimum amount you can place to your account from Mpesa is from 10 shillings. So to na request, ataka utakuwa unaweka shilling 10 kila siku kila siku kila siku bado utafika 50. Then after after all that, uh you click to the bets that you feel uh isn't is inaka kushinda. kama leo, leo ni sato, okay, leo ni Man City na Swansea kwa nini Barclays Premier League. Na pia kuna Barcelona kwa La Liga. So uh, tukitumia Man City na Swansea as for me uh, Man City na kaku kunyosha Swansea. So uh, na bet za Man City ni 1.29 na za draw ni 5.5 na Swansea ni 10. So uh, kwangu ku bet ndaanza na Man City na click Man City. Uh, if I decide for a single bet I said Man City peke yake, Man City versus Swansea peke yake, and I'll choose Akina Barcelona. But if I decide for multi bet, then I'm Man City, and then kwa Barcelona. Barcelona na Deportivo. The odds are 1.5, 12, and 26. So I'm going to go to multi bet, Man City, na Barcelona, and maybe other teams that I feel will win. Uh, Jackpot ya Betway is 8 million. Now every week if you don't have like a winner, uh, bet the nini, mm, bet we won't get a jackpot on uh, 500,000, 500,000 yeah. here. So come on, last time it was 7 7 7 million 500. So ini 8 million. So come on, kuna mtu mwenye atashinda, itakuwa 8 million 500. Eh. Tuchamaliza ku bet na umekuwa ki follow up matches yenye ulikuwa na bet. Uh, utapata, you, you just have to log in, then kwa account yako itakua, itakua imeja. But also they send you a confirmation message to tell you, uh, user dash and dash, you have won dash and dash amount of money on dash and dash bets. Well, now you know how betting works, but let's revisit at the casino number one rule, the house always wins. Did you know that in most single bets you only have one chance? That is, you can only predict whether a team will win, lose or draw. Mathematically, you have one chance out of the three possibilities. In percentage, this is 33.33%. On the other hand, the house will bank on the other two possibilities. In percentage, this is 66.67%. Going by the rule of probability, your guess on who is likely to win is as good as mine. Using your mobile phone, that's how you can bet and perhaps become the next millionaire. Now, WTV Sports Center takes a short break, but don't go far because we shall be right back after this short break.
Welcome back to WTV Sports Center. Still with matters betting, and I'm walking along the streets of Nairobi looking for the new millionaire in town. This is because I recently someone just got away with the sports special jackpot of 22 million Kenya shillings. <laughs> Sport Pesa has a weekly jackpot which is the hardest amount to win since it has only specific games to bet on and you have to bet on all the games plus get the predictions right to be able to win the jackpot amount. Elima Kanaita is the fifth Sport Pesa jackpot winner taking home 22 million Kenya shillings after spending only 200 Kenya shillings in placing two bets. Today we are celebrating another winner, which is quite unique, as Kester has just mentioned. For the first time, we have a jackpot winner who is a lady, and it's quite a huge amount, uh, 22 million shillings. And she's uh, from Western. First, Tangunianza uh, Kubet. It will take long, not more than two months. And I'm going to get a job, I'm going to get a job, I'm going to get a job, I'm going to get a job. And then, I'm going to get a job, 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 I'm going to get a job. I just got only three out of 13. Then, I'm going to get a job, Maraya tatu ni kapata 7 out of 13. Maraya nene ni kapata 9 out of 13. Na maraya mwisho ni kapata 13 out of 13. With so many people falling for online scams each and every day, Elima's husband explains how hard it was for him to believe that indeed Elima had won the jackpot. Hey, maze, mi nashanga tu. Shadu. Eh, nashanga, sababu tukikuja, on Sunday, Miss Jay, I'm in the kitchen. You on Sunday. Set Miss Joy, you come as a sport person. Miss Joy, you so. Now, when I go to school, I walk, walk, walk. I end up happy. Sasa on Sunday, ni mengia. Mama, but sasa si kawaida. Sunday, di mugo njua. Hmm. Eh, hmm. Bah, ili ko kama sa sa mbili mbili yapo. Ili ko nige mu ya mu shona fikri luki nenda kuisha. Ili ko nenda kuisha. Sasa yo ba ya mu shwa ya ili ko ni two one. Ili kumbole watu dead. Zasa ni kasikia tu, kasikia tu, uuuui. Nini? Bedu mwina kimbe. Ni kumbia wani mugonjwa? Sibu. Mata message ati yao, nime wini, ni kumbia wani waka hii vitu. Uko. Nanda uko unichekia foodi kwa mba na kwa na kinenge sana. At the end of the day, what matters to a punter is the money he or she wins. But as some fans would argue, what matters most is the research one embarks on before placing a bet. Before we place the team bet, we have a history, as in the last time we met, because it was the last time. Like the previous five times we met, the results were the same, plus the current form. We have a history, as in the home of the home, and we have a history of the outcome of the match. It was a fine research. We have two games, and we have a history. We have a history of the game. Jaribu kupima pima uzito. Though it's a bit cha a challenge. Ni ngumu kujua. Ile unaweza betia una bet lakini unapata imekufail. Lakini sijafanya any research. I think there's there's a there's a there's a conflict somewhere because what I don't understand because according to what I heard from her is that she didn't know a lot about futa alikuwa tu anapima pima. To me I don't believe that's true. And at church, I post to you don't know a lot about footer because me, what I know for a fact is that always the Kachini who choose 15 teams to win 15 specific games out of luck. At all, when I lack Ghani, how is it? The evolution of betting, the winners and the losers, that's what we've been talking about right here on WTV Sports Center. Now joining me here is my co-host Colin Sogutu, who we've done a couple of episodes with him. Just now at this particular point in time, I want to get his reaction concerning the stories that we've been doing here. So Collins, we've done quite a a lot of coverage, so to speak, yeah. from you know the evolution of betting, the winners and the losers. What's your perception concerning betting? 
Uh, betting, first of all, I don't bet. Uh, that's a surprise to many people. But betting has transformed lives, uh, both negatively and positively. So for me, I think it's not something that I can rely on. But for those who have made it, uh, those who have been named millionaires and those who have made quite good sums of money, I think betting is a good thing for them. If you are to bet, because now you understand from the stories that you've done, uh, the way you, you bet and some of the things you may have to consider, do you agree with the things to do with form, being on the top of the table, what are some of the things you'd look at? Uh, I'd look at stats, first of all we look at the stats of the teams, but sometimes stats don't work. Like if, if the people who are winning millions would look into the stats. Some of them would not be millions. Like if you remember the latest winner, the millionaire in town said, she doesn't know anything about football, but she ended up winning. So as a professional football analyst, I would look into quite a number of things. The teams on top, the teams uh, below the table, and, and stats head to head and things like that. But sometimes they don't. So for me, I think it depends wholly on luck and when your day is ripe. Oh, amazing. Now let's uh, look at, uh, you know, uh, you've been in this industry writing a lot about uh, football and maybe you've encountered some people who have uh, won and some who have lost. The worst case that you ever got. I remember a friend of mine uh, who sold his own household to, to, to raise stakes so that he could bet with that. And then he raised uh, 120,000 shillings. It may, remember, I remember he, he left his house blank empty so to speak. At the end of the day after making a multiple of close to seven games expecting 10.7 million shillings he lost everything. So I think that was the worst experience I ever had in terms of betting and I advised him not to try that again next not time. Not to try that again. Yeah. Now at this point we come to the end of our show but remember you can always give us feedback by the way on Twitter is the WTVK. Use the hashtag SportsCenter or else you can also communicate to us directly on Twitter. My Twitter account is at It's Elijah Mwangi and then we have Colin so good to at it CK you're good with the H at, at the end now it's a wrap from us uh, but now remember it's upon you to choose whether to bet or not and uh, these funny clips uh, that uh, have been sent to us and you can always uh, send them to WTV Sports Center Facebook account you know we'll tell you more about betting <laughs> Muto naweza reverse sababu nilikuwa nimebeta 1500 na ni kama nilikuwa mrevi. Eh sasa mimi nataka muweza kunivazi hiyo pesa sababu nilifanya kimakosa. Haru Unaweza reverse? It has become part of their life. And uh, the way we are going, I don't think we will have a society in the future because uh, the economy is really very rough and uh, now they think they can make an extra income from uh, betting. But once they get disappointed, you find it is too late.